What's up everybody? Welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered here on the PC. We are rocking the Xbox One controller because we don't have wheel support yet. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So we get a race. We're gonna go right for Entry it. Entry in the Roadsters Reborn race event is confirmed. In this showcase, okay, event, you will unleash the true potential of the Roadster as you compete against other drivers in a race along the Seacrest County coast. I'll do Use it. Your driving skills to outmaneuver the opposition and take a medal. Your reputation is measured in wanted levels. Mm. Current. All right, we're just gonna skip this right to it. Restricted entry requirements. You can choose any of. You can choose any of these cars. Um. None of them. Oh, I can unlock these later, but we're just gonna hop right into that Porsche. And uh, we're gonna go red. No, no. Porsche engineers have we're gonna go blue. So Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered here on the PC. Gonna be doing a little bit of a let's play for you guys if you guys wanna see it. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see a little bit more here of Hot Pursuit Remastered. And we're gonna hope the controller and everything's already linked up. It looks like it's working, so we're about to find out. <laughs> Skipping right through all this stuff. I don't remember that from the beginning, from the first one. I guess we're gonna go right to it. Guess we're in automatic mode. Let's go to change some game settings. Phenomenal miles per hour controls. Steer left, right, hand, handbrake. Um, we gotta go to the keyboard. What is my handbrake? Handbrake is X, nitrous is A. All right, got it. That's what we need to know, but what is change view? Can we change views? Headlights, steering, ignition, change camera is right button, got it. That's all we need to know. Let's go back to it. So, Need for Speed Remastered, definitely a game I used to play a lot when I was younger. Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit. Fortunately, throw a little spray on that straight. Unfortunately, oh, we don't have wheel support, but we will hopefully getting wheel support soon. I hope. I do like the mirror how it, oh, that guy just died and I followed him into it. And we just died. Um... Luckily, they just let us come back. I wasn't paying attention. I was checking on my audio to make sure it wasn't too, too loud for you guys. Which, we're going to pause that and we're going to drop this surround sound just down a little bit so it's not echoey. There we go. So, we are catching back up for the first race here in Hot Pursuit Remastered. Definitely very different being on a controller in a racing game, but, you know... Some games you can't uh, have wheel support, so unfortunately we don't have wheel support yet. Maybe it will come in in the future. Press A for nitrous. I feel like everybody's spraying or I would be able to catch these guys. This Porsche's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a drift going. We got a lot of damage, unfortunately, from uh, impacting that other car. Oh, there, there's some more damage taken. Luckily, we don't have to deal with cops at the moment. So, Need for Speed games, like I was saying earlier, is some one of the games that I used to play a lot of. Need for Speed. Oh, I mean, you can help me drift. That's that's cool too. I played a lot of the original Hot Pursuits and a lot of the games I spent hours and hours building cars and things of that nature so it's definitely cool to see a remastered version looks extremely pretty traffic collision is okay when you've got nitrous to spray I like how we can look around everywhere on the car though but pay attention to where you're going on the road because that'll happen otherwise we are beating the crap out of this Porsche unfortunately
We are in third. The race is almost over. A little bit of spray at the end. Actually didn't mean to hit him, but unfortunately, we are kind of just banged into him. We are going to take first place. Kind of going to force him into the wall. Throw it a little bit sideways. Get away from that car. Oh, so the race is nowhere near over. I thought it was only 2.6. We still have 1.6 to go in the first race here. This car is definitely worse for wear. I do like how the mirrors have, you know, just the, the red or orange cars in the background. It's kind of like almost a uh, radar style mirror. One mile to the finish. So if you guys are playing Need for Speed Remastered High Pursuit, or <laughs> High Pursuit, <laughs> Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered, let me know in the comments what do you guys think about it. It's definitely kind of a very fun game, and I kind of want to get online and do some online stuff with it. And we'll take that win. We will take our first win in the game, gold awarded. It wasn't too bad of a race. I thought it could have been a lot worse, but a new car, new car, new car, Mazda, RX-8, all right. Another new car awarded, Dodge, oh, Dodge Charger SRT-8. That's it, just RX-8 and a SRT-8, all right. So we did complete that race. We do have another race, but we also have so an SCPD event. Erratic driver in a smashed up car should be an easy bust for the new recruit. You have been accepted into the ranks of the SCPD, the world's fastest speed enforcement unit. You begin your career as a rank one cadet with limited access to the department. The pinnacle of the speed enforcement unit are the rank 20 ultimate enforcers with access to any vehicle or pursuit resource required. I want to be an ultimate enforcer. So we get a factory crown Vic. All right. And then we can get better cars as we progress. So let's see if we can get uh, a suspect bounty bust here real quick. Are we chasing an RX-8? Yes, we are. So where do I come to play? Because those are Mustangs. So we start off right behind him. We don't really have Nitrous, but we're going to have to draft him, I guess, to catch up. And then take him out. They said, oh, oh my. Okay, this, this this Crown Vic does not handle the greatest, but when you blindside an RX-8, uh, they die. <laughs> so, instant bust real quick. That was quick. Took him down right away. I'll take it. 24 seconds in the first bust. If you guys did this challenge, let me know how quickly you got that bust because... I mean, I'm happy with 24 seconds. New vehicle procured. A Subaru. So now we have a Subaru police car. I like that a lot better than the Crown Vic because we can go off-road. So we do have another police mission, another race mission. So I think we'll tag another police mission here for today. And then we will continue this on another episode. Uh... Why would we go back into the Crown Vic? Of course we're going to take the Subaru out. Let's go. Bring the Subaru out from the police garage. What do we got? Escape to the beach. Hot pursuit. Traffic police. Shut down the race and earn the most bounty. Ah, so we got a bunch of different busts we got to do. Alright. Definitely cool to go back and forth between racing and police busting. So now we got a bunch of. 
So we gotta bust past and bust a couple cars up here that are uh, doing some illegal street racing. Try to take out this Porsche first. That was a pretty light hit, but uh, it kind of kind of hurt that Porsche a lot. We got Subaru so we can go out into the gravel. That's one. Oh, that man is dead. That man is definitely dead because no roll cage on that car. Subaru is definitely uh, coming into play. Ow. Coming into play. Z4. Oh, we can't cut that? Come on. We should have been able to cut that. Catch back up to the Z4. When you have a rally car, you can go off-road. Apparently, I don't have any lights. Apparently, I've broken all my police lights. Because that's that's a thing. So that's two. Uh, that man's also dead. Unfortunately, uh, no cars have roll cages. Now, that car's got a full roof, so we should be able to hopefully not kill this man. He's throwing a little spray to get away from us, but I, I feel like we can catch him. We can shove him into a, a truck if we can. Yeah, no. And we'll take the third takedown to end this episode off. If you guys want to keep seeing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. Three busts in a minute 50. I'll take it. We did get that gold award. So... First attempt, 1 minute, 50 seconds. I think I said 350. 1 minute and 50 seconds. We were able to take down that instant bounty. So we got a achievement unlocked. So we definitely got a bunch of money and things of that. Congratulations, officer. Did we unlock a new car? New vehicle required. An RX-8. I don't know if that's the best cap car to have, but... We might use it, or we might continue to use the Subaru, but we did get another one procured. Ooh. So we did get the Ford Interceptor. That could be a good car. Another one? We got the Porsche. So the Porsche Cayman S police car. We'll probably be using that in a later episode. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. I'd like to appreciate you guys coming back and watching another episode. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.